Hello, hi. Hi. I am Prachi. Can you please introduce yourself to me very briefly, though? Uh, yeah, my name is Pushra. Okay. Where are you from? I am from UP. So, are you a student? Uh, yeah, actually, I am a UPSC aspirant. I have done okay. with my graduation. Yeah. Okay, so you did your graduation in which subject? Uh, in like political science, English, okay. and uh, okay. economics. So you did your graduation in English as well. Then why are you taking this class? You should be yeah. teaching us, right? <laughs> uh actually what happens is usually in india what happens is i did my graduation in english but it was not that uh, the grammar portion was taught to me it was just that the novels and uh, uh, short stories and essays and all of these things that were not very useful in you know uh, me developing as an english speaker or anybody else so yeah mm -hmm. that's how i joined the session actually this is my fourth or fifth clapping yeah. session I believe it's your fourth session. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, so tell me how is life uh, like for a UPSC aspirant? I'm sure you must have a very busy schedule all the time, right? Yeah, actually, uh, I am a YouTuber also. So okay. I, I actually like... kind of gotched by looking at you, your background, and you're quite dressed up for this, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, yeah. Session. So I thought that, okay, she might be a YouTuber. Okay, yeah, go ahead. You were saying something. Uh, yeah, actually, life is very busy. YouTube is just part time. Uh, I am uh, very serious about my UPSC preparation. I go to uh, the coaching, come back, study, and you know, have also I manage some time to uh, make my videos and everything. So yeah, life is also very difficult. But also, I want to say that this is a myth that you know that i don't know who has created this myth that a upsc aspirant you know is some someone who is very boring who is just studying all the day who doesn't know anything who doesn't go out but yeah that is also a myth and uh, there is very strange thing about me that people think mm -hmm. that oh i i run a youtube channel and i don't look like a upsc aspirant so people genuinely don't believe that i am a upsc aspirant but now I run a channel and I share something. So yeah, they kind of started believing back then. The, the okay, she's a UPSC aspirant, although she okay. does makeup and fashion and everything. Okay, uh, so can you tell me uh, this saying, uh, which is associated with what you just told me, that people just often judge you by your looks. There's a saying for this, you no, know, this particular situation. Can you just help me with that saying, if you can recall one? Uh, I think don't judge a book by its cover. I yeah, think so. exactly, exactly. So yeah, but the truth of it. the moment is people always judge you by your looks. Mm -hmm. Because okay, people... so do you think uh, some places uh, looks actually matter, like the way you conduct yourself, the way you dress, it speaks volumes about you. Don't you think that is pertinent to uh, people gorging you? Like first impression, they say, no, first impression is the last impression. So I think yeah. these two statements are quite contradictory, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, 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 if I talk about myself, when people, you know, search my channel and they see me in some shorts videos or if they don't read the title, they think that, oh, the, she's some beauty blogger. She might some mm -hmm. she might be some beauty blogger, but they when they listen to me, they they get to know she's a UPSC aspirant and they think that why she's so dressed up, why is she wearing some lip lipstick for just you know to, to talk about UPSC. So yeah, people judge you. I okay, I know for a fact that okay I look nice, I look nice. Sometimes I I like this. Okay, people judge people always judge by looks. Uh, mm -hmm. This is a saying and this is uh, actually I don't resist this, but uh, yeah, people always judge you by your looks. Uh, if you are looking good, yes, you will get some attention or whatever, Definitely. but you know, it will not uh, help you in, it is very temporary. And sometimes it do also you... get, gets into your nerves. I, I do a lot of hard work about my UPSC preparation and I share uh, my thing. But people will all people will always be like, oh, uh, you are beautiful. So you can say whatever you want to. And uh, you'll get views and subscribers only because of you. Do that only because of your beauty. That th this statement hurts me the most because, you know, all my hard work, all my knowledge, all the research that I do, all the hours that I've studied, 
they all go in just vain and they will only what they see is my face and nothing else do you think pretty privilege is a thing like does it exist yeah i think so it so is so then it just negates all everything you just said yeah, yeah so actually so? yeah actually actually if you if you look good or if you are you know if you look okay or nice uh, people will think that people will only see your face people will only you know uh, comment about your face people will only comment about your beauty but they will not know uh, you know they will not know about your hard work they will not they, actually they are not interested in a, any other thing so that is the thing and i get these comments like every uh, second day ki okay you have a pretty face so you so, but you don't have knowledge you don't have any other knowledge so you can talk whatever you want to and people will believe you and that's why you are growing on youtube that's why you are getting views and subscribers so this is the thing that hurts me the most so pre- pretty privileged like do you feel that it has helped you somewhere um uh, yeah but i think uh, this is very temporary i think this is very temporary uh you may get like 1000 or uh, 10000 actually 30 to 40000 okay let's say 50000 subscribers <laughs> that's a lot of people <laughs> yeah you <laughs> may get okay you may get i can agree but not that you it will not help you in in future it will not help you help you in future if, if there is not something in you or in your personality your pretty face will you know some day there will be some day when your personal uh, your beauty will be gone so so what is the hardest part of being a upsc aspirant actually the hardest part is when people every now and then ask ki oh tumhara upsc ka exam ho gaya kab hoga is baar attend de rahi ho so that is the hardest thing and if we uh, if we didn't pass the exam so it really feels bad hmm. no definitely and, so, and also uh, the uh, you know what people expect from a upsc aspirant that he or she knows everything in the world ha uh-huh, ha definitely she he or she must know everything in the world this is a and this is an added pressure you know people will ask random question what uh, what is the you know what is i don't know random questions and they are like oh you are a upsc aspirant you don't know this means you are not an you are not a serious aspirant please we don't know everything and we can't know everything that is happening in the universe a upsc aspirant knows something of everything but not hmm. everything of everything i don't know if i i think, I am I able think people to will pull you down uh, whenever they get a chance to right they'll pull you down yeah yeah, yeah. correct so correct. Uh, uh, since it's a very competitive exam have you thought of uh, you know something to fall back on like if you're not able to get through this examination what you're going to do i think you already have youtube then i i'm sure it will grow but then what what else you going to do uh actually i have nothing else i am whole heartedly dedicated to this exam but okay. in case if it doesn't happen that i have a youtube channel and i have a vlog channel so i can maybe uh this can help but uh, okay. other than so, that I, i don't have anything okay so let me ask you you understand this uh, saying put putting all your eggs in one basket do you understand this saying no okay so putting all your eggs in one basket means that you're putting all your uh, chances you're aligning all your hopes on one thing you have for example for example let's say i make an investment into equity right so but i'm not investing in other kinds of mutual funds i'm only yeah. investing in equity yeah so that yeah. means that i'm not distributing my wealth investment i'm just putting it all in one for kind of you know investment so that's what's meant that you are not segregating in order to balance your risk it's mean that you're putting pinning all your hopes into one thing one. category or you know that that's what's meant by putting all your eggs in one basket okay yeah three so what do you do in i what do you do in your spare time your hobbies uh actually <laughs> i have also converted my hobbies to my content you know uh, the youtuber kind yeah. of thing they find content in everything they do 
so whatever yeah. time i get i do I, i do make vlog videos in okay. that time so i am utilizing that time also and in my vlog i, I you know uh, i go somewhere so i shoot the video and upload it on my vlog vlog channel i do hmm. like some makeup uh, thing or whatever so uh, i kind of you know sh- use all my hobbies as content on my vlog channel great who is your favorite vlogger then apart uh, from you obviously but who is your favorite vlogger my favorite vlogger is a uh, uh, flying beast and okay that uh, gorav gupta guy right gorav i guess his name is gorav tanisha ha oh, right right, right. <laughs> i'm sorry i'm just so yeah. bad with all the names but yeah gorav tanisha exactly yeah. yeah yeah i used to follow him like a while back i think it has been a year or two but i just found it very distressing that he was vlogging every tiny detail of his life uh, especially yeah, yeah. Actually, his actually that is very difficult but, actually um, so i i was little put off because i thought okay he is uh, cashing in on her his uh, daughter breaking her arm then her wife being in labor so i found yeah. that very apathetic and you know very what do you call it insensitive so hmm. that's a like no but i uh, really like these uh, travel vlogs they actually yeah. do give you an insight into you know what kind of places you can go to right yeah yeah so you are travel vlogging Uh, sorry i didn't hear what did you say you also do travel vlogging uh, no actually not uh, uh, means i this uh, is vlog channel is my secondary channel so whatever uh, i actually go to like uh, whenever i go to some places or restaurant i just vlog little bit of them yeah kind of so is your family supportive of you vlogging their lives uh, like you include them in your videos no 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 no, no. i did not include any of my family fa- 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 even my when my when i uh, hit 100k also on my vlog channel i was live and people were like oh, we want to meet your parents we want to meet your uh, siblings mm-hmm. but i'm like no because i am very no. uh, you know what should i say protective in that sense i don't want my family to be in front of the camera private very private yeah very yes. private because you know uh, when someone comments something bad about me i can be yeah. irritated but, but if someone says something about them oh no no i will lose my calm <laughs> there so i just okay. vlog myself so like you mentioned that whenever somebody trolls you 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 really don't get affected by it you ignore it there is a phrase for it can you tell me that phrase when some when something does not affect you at all what is that person is uh, like there's a phrase for it can you just think and tell me i don't know i am unaffected something no, it's about it's having a thick skin having yeah 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 i remember having so you have a thick skin but not when it comes to your family yeah uh, yeah correctly so i am not point. that strong that i can you know bear everything they say about my family also people can be very mean i've seen people going out with pitchforks on you know comment section and they make very baseless and random remarks i feel like you know this uh, this uh, screen is there this thing that ambiguity anonymity that, that protects you that okay nobody knows me so i can do comment whatever i want right so don't you ever feel bothered that people are saying mean things to you i actually when i started my youtube channel when uh, when it was very new everything was new for me when people used to write negative comments i actually used to cry and i will not say that i am you know completely unaffected yes uh, sometimes they are uh, you know when 100 people say you bad things one or two things yeah. will definitely affect you so yeah. even till now when somebody says something bad maybe i mm-hmm. ignore but sometime when i am already at my low and, and when i read the yeah. comment i get Uh, very sad and upset and i cry but nobody knows and, and they think that they can write whatever they want to but it's not like that so tell me something about your family so ha- has your family pampered you a lot or they have raised yeah, you to be I, a very strict uh, student uh yeah actually they my parents are quite you know strict they teach all of the discipline kind of things and everything but they are not uh, uh, uh strict like you can't do Uh, youtube or you know uh-huh. the community that i belong to uh, uh-huh. they are not uh, that empowered and uh, you know they are not very 
uh, okay they can do whatever it's not like that but my parents are no you you want to do youtube you want to do vlogging you you want to become an ias or ips you do whatever you want to hmm nice so they haven't clipped your wings no no i'm no. glad that they haven't okay. never i have come across a lot of learners uh, like i asked them like few of them very recently married and they told me that you know we are homemakers and out of curiosity asked them why uh, you are a homemaker so they told me that their husbands don't like them working so that's why yeah. they have given up their careers it's, it's very sad actually yeah you have still these kind of people around yeah actually and there are people who you know who belong to my community and they can't see girls you know growing and doing whatever they want to they are like oh you, you why are you uh, you know you don't look like a muslim why are you making videos how are you know what kind of parents do you have they, don't they uh, stop you from making the videos with the naked face i'm like which century they are living in my parents are not <laughs> like this my parents are not very right. open they are like do whatever they want to yeah and it's just basic human right everybody yeah. should have the freedom to choose whatever they want to do in their life 